say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Welcome to T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium tonight for the first uh, home game of the Lady Senators basketball season. Nice to be in the friendly confines of T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on Ron Smith Court. Uh, we open with four, well, three home games in a row. One, uh, the, the uh, Linton game Saturday has been postponed due to them being in the volleyball state finals. Tonight I'm joined by Ryan Batt, uh, helping call the Lady uh, Senators games for the first few games at least he's right, gonna be he's right. gonna be the partner in crime uh, <clears throat> Ryan so kind of a, a new start to the to the season um, you know new coach new completely new coaching staff a lot of new girls a lot of the freshman faces um, you know what do you 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 have a daughter on the team so you've got kind of insight what do you what do you know going in yeah I know, I know these girls uh, I've watched them come up through the AAU ranks and on Sunday League basketball and stuff. And I, I tell you what, they got a lot of talent coming up and, and not just right here on this varsity level, but talent coming up through the grades. And, and it's uh, becoming one of, the, one of those things that uh, these girls here have played together just a little bit. They've not played together a whole lot. I know they played in summer basketball and stuff, but it'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. We're going to tip that ball off, and I hope it's a good season. Like I said, the Lady Senators do open up with – uh, three home games in a row here, so that's always a, a great thing to start off with. Opening tip comes to Shelby Griffiths. That's a good drive by Shelby. She needs to start taking that ball to the hole. Senator's going to come out in a, looks like a 1-2-2 two, two press here. Lily Thompson on the ball there, along with Meredith Deaton. That's a good, good call, good call. You know, one thing on this press that we got with something we've not normally had, you know, if you look out there across the girls, we got some size and some, some height out yeah, there. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had the, the length and the size that we do this year. It's nice to get Riley Hall back out on the 
the uh, basketball court. I know she focused on softball there for a, a year and a half, um, but nice to see her back out there in the addition of Meredith Neaton as the freshman coming in is, is a nice addition also. Senators moving the ball around the top of the court, looking to get it into the post with some of that size advantage they've got down low. Lily Thompson out top for a three. Way out there. Good shot. Quick hands on Lily. Lily's, Lily's speed it will be a huge benefit to us this season. It's one of those, if, if Lily can stay healthy, she is a great benefit to the, to the Lady Senators. Um, has battled kind of an injury bug the past couple of years. I know last year during sectional, she had an ankle injury, I believe it was, and was in a boot, so wasn't able to play. But, um, you know, she's, she's one of those speedsters that can get out there and get after the yeah. ball. Yeah, we watched Lily play powder puff football the other night, and she is probably <laughs> the fastest girl in the school. <laughs> she's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Clarksville trying to set something up. They swing it around the top with a drive down the lane into the corner. Good defense by Shelby. That one going to be tipped out of bounds. Senator's going to get possession there. Clarksville kind of come out and pressure the Lady Senators a little bit. Like you said, I don't know if that's a, a great idea with the speed of Lily Thompson and the ball handling ability of her to pressure that. Yeah, I think they'll learn pretty quick that might not want to try to impress it very much. That ball gets tipped away from Riley Hall out top. It was a good look, good look underneath. Lady Generals drive through the middle. Their offense just doesn't seem to be flowing at the moment. Oh, it's kind of like they're, maybe that's their first game, too. Yeah, it is. Just, it's their first okay. game. They've got quite a few um, underclassmen. That was 21. Alyssa, Alyssa Leisure out there on that score. Lady Senators with another turnover coming back the other way. Then we're going to have Clarksville give it right back with a travel. You can tell first game jitters from, from everybody. They had Definitely. a scrimmage, but you know that's not quite the same as an actual game. So, Ava Woods with the Good drive, going to get time. to go to the line for two there. I know the Senators are looking for big things out of her. Um, you know, had her freshman year underneath her last year, played. Played well as a as a freshman, but really looking for the the step here as a sophomore. Right, Ava's one of those kids that stays in the gym and works. And I know last year she was staying after and shooting a lot of free throws. So it was, that'll be a huge benefit to a big person underneath with the free throw percentages this year, hopefully. And and like I say, just again, like the the lineup that we got, we we this is something that's uncommon for the Senators to right. be this big as a lineup. I'm trying to think back. I've been doing Lady Senator basketball for. I think this is my eighth year, and I, I can't remember a team that was this big and this long just overall. Might have to go back to that sectional team um, with Maddie Bowsman and uh, Cassidy Keltner. I would say that's right. You know, I'd, I'd go back, you know, probably that far. At least that far before we find <laughs> some height in there. Yep. And we come off the bench. We're pretty tall yeah, off the bench, got, and we're we've bold. We've got girls off the bench, too. Nice move there. Meredith Deaton able to get a hand on that one and block it away. General's going to be in a zone here. Going to be a 1 2 2 or a 3 2, depending on how they sag that top. There it is, underneath. Good turn. Good shot. Ava Woods with the basket. That gives her four on the night. Good. Turnover for the Generals. Easy Goes layup. over to Lily Thompson for her first two of the night. That's what we needed. We need to get some of this first game jitters out of the way. Now we're rolling. Nice job there by number three. 
Uh, Courtney Austin, who's able just to reach in and grab onto it as Meredith Deaton's going up for a layup. We're going to get a timeout here on the court. We're going to take a 30-second timeout here. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back here live at uh, West Washington. Didn't even give any uh, heads up of the new coaches. We said that we had new coaches. Kristen Missamore is our head coach. Then Mackenzie Missamore, her daughter, played at BNL, um, is the varsity assistant. Ryan Russell, very familiar name here in Senator Land, um, as one of the, the two thousand point scorers for the Lady Senators. And then Mike Lewis. Uh, takes over as the JV coach. So, like I said, new faces. Matt Myers um, steps away from the girls' side after uh, I believe it was two uh, years there. He did a great job, um, you know, with that. But stepping away, and uh, Coach Miss Moore takes over after lots of time on the AAU circuit, um, you know, where her daughter and Ryan both played together. So, There's a drive down the lane. I believe they're going to get Meredith Deaton for that foul. They got Meredith on there. Meredith just didn't quite get her feet up under it, slid under there, and uh, kind of just followed along with her and yeah. grabbed that foul. That's just something a freshman coming into the right. game, just first first game, and she'll get her hang, hang of that. And Meredith's always been good on defense as far as coming in from the junior high level and moving her feet and getting her hand up in her face. So that's something that Meredith will definitely improve. Yeah, we talked about how fast game. Lily's feet are. Meredith's right there with her. That's right. She's fast. <laughs> And it's great, you know, like I say, we, I've been talking all night about how big these girls are and they can move too. Good rebound, good rebound. Gonna end up with a turnover there and then. Uh, then I hope they don't get Meredith, no they didn't. Nope, they get Riley Hall for her first, team second. Kind of an awkward place to take it out there in that corner. Generals moving the ball around the top, looking to get some offense going down low. I don't know that the Generals really have anybody outside a sharpshooter out there that they you know, really want to rely on. They're more of a slash and, and dump type of team. Meredith is a good rebound there. And, and the good thing about Meredith, she can bring the ball up the court as she just did right there. You don't have to rely on guards all the time. Yeah. Two-pointer. Off the rim. Look at that guy's pass. Nice pass underneath Meredith Deaton with two points. And that's Emma Smith with the assist there. That's that's nice. Way to see the court. The general throw it out of bounds. Gonna come back to the Lady Senators. Lady Senators out early here, eight to two, three eighteen left to go in the first period of play. Be a three-pointer for Meredith, and it's off the Meredith mark. Meredith lets that one fly a Bradley little long. Gets the rebound. <laughs> That's in Lily's wheelhouse right there. She could let that one fly. That's where I've, she let the first one fly. I've from. seen Lily just cross the court and shoot it before <laughs> and, and hit it. Yeah. Going to pick up a foul on number five for the Generals. It's okay. Kenzie Alexander for the Generals. Okay, got that foul. Be her first. Foul's pretty equal, two to two, both teams. Well, it's a good look. Has a good seal by Riley underneath. They missed her. It's going to be tipped. Going to go out of bounds, and the Senators are going to retain possession here. Be stolen in the backcourt, but then Lily's going to get it back and then flip it up. 
Nice stop and go move there by number 10. Nice job by Schmidt there. Emma probably the shortest girl on the team and just stole the ball again going up for the easy layup and one. There we go, good shot. Gives her four on the night. I like that we're pressing. Yeah. But with that length, a press really works well for these girls. Riley with another good rebound. We got a fast break with Meredith and Ava. Meredith just didn't see her. Comes out to Lily Thompson for three. Just off. Meredith tries to save that one, is unable to get there. We see a whole host of people check in. We got Abby Young coming in for the Senators to give Riley Hall a break. Abby, a veteran for the Senators too, played, got a lot of playing time last year. Going to be a bucket and one opportunity there. Uh, I think Shelby Griffiths just checked back in to give Lily Thompson a break. Yep. Gaines with another free throw. Give her five. Luke Gaines is carrying the weight offensive and defensively right yeah. now for the Generals. Shelby just does a crossover, forgets the dribble. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of caught it at yeah. a mid-step. She didn't have anywhere to go with it, so right. before she could get it down to the ground. Look at speed in the middle of that court for the Senators. Meredith goes all the way from the top of that press all the way down to the lane to pick up Gaines as she comes down the lane. Up and good for another two. Yeah, we're gonna have to get on Gaines. That's Gaines is their, their go to, yeah. I believe. There we go, down the court. Good over the head pass. Good finish. Good job by Ava Woods there. Get her six in the first quarter. Didn't leave that person back too far. Could have been an easy foul. Meredith Deaton rebounds it underneath, goes the other way. Look at that. Oh, just quite the it. quite the scoop there. Yeah. She, like we talked about the length, she can cover some court. Gains, Gains with, with the, the rebound. rebound underneath. Shelby's Shelby Griffiths coming the other way. Her and Schmidt lays it off. Schmidt unable to knock that one down. I believe that might be a travel. <laughs> <laughs> we get a call from the official across the way. Going to call that travel. Lady Senators up 14-9 here. 5.8 left to go. Let's see if the Senators can get another two-point bucket here before the end of the first quarter. Abby Young to inbound it. Got a lot of faith in Meredith to catch that pass, and she does. Meredith Gets it scores. and knocks it down and gives her four. Going to be the end of the first quarter of play where the Lady Senators do lead 16-9. We're going to take a break. Be back in just a moment. You're at American Family Insurance, located in Bedford, Indiana. We help our customers all over the state of Indiana by having customizable insurance policies to fit their needs. Whether it is insurance for your car, home, or business, we've got you covered. With licenses in Ohio and Florida as well, we can insure your vacation or rental home. You can also sign up for our discount driving program called Know Your Drive and save up to 10% with the potential to save up to 20% off auto insurance premiums. And let's not forget about your life as life insurance is the most important policy we offer. Contact Michael Long at mlong at amfam.com or call 812-578-3072. Again, that's 812-578-3072. Michael Long Agency with American Family Insurance. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Back live here at the Friendly Confines 
of T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium. Great first quarter of play there for the Lady Senators, 16 to nine out. Uh, you know, not a real clean first quarter of play for the Lady Senators, but they're getting the job done. They're putting up points, which is, you know, what you have to do to win games. It's you know, I think we come out there in that first quarter and we're just a little bit nervous, but we still play good. I mean, we're playing aggressive. We're playing good. Going to a little smaller lineup, looks like. we got Shelby, uh, Emma, and, and Abby in there. Uh, maybe the smaller three kids of the team. You know, like <laughs> we, I said, we, we, we talked about the length, and then all right. of a sudden we go away from the length, and we go more for speed. But we still we still have some pretty good length out there because you know Meredith's still out there, Riley Hall's out there, and Abby Young. That's that's still length, even though we're yep. we're smaller without um, Ava and Lily, you know, out there on the court. But we're we're still fairly big. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this girls uh, varsity team this year. I think I think you know we're we're, we're limited on numbers with the JV. I think we have 12 kids total yeah. yep. of JV and varsity, but. The talent, there's the talent is exceptional. Oh yeah, yeah, and and I think Coach uh, Ms. Moore's style is to get up and down the court, which is what these girls want to do. They want to get out, and run. They want to score points. Um, you know, so it's it's a fun style of basketball to watch. Riley Hall very smartly doesn't <laughs> put that one right. up. She's she's there on the three point line, but not a shot that Coach wants her taking. So. Swing it around to Meredith Deaton on this side. She makes a little drive and then kicks back to Shelby. General's picking up the defense, looking a lot better in the second quarter yeah. for sure. Good ball movement by the Senators. And general, the Generals know that they're not going to be able to uh, keep foot speed with the Lady Senators, so they're in a zone, which is going to help them out quite a bit, and you know they're going to have to get beat on some backdoor cuts and things to really, you know, to really get beat and look bad on that. So, um, you know, if they were to match up man to man, I think it would be very difficult for them to match the foot speed of the Lady Senators. Nice look inside. Out to Meredith Deaton for three. That one no good. Good save by Riley Hall. Shelby to recover that. Goes over and back just off the yeah. speed and the dribble. Tough just, call right just there. Just couldn't, couldn't get it. She was in no man's land. She couldn't really do anything. She couldn't jump stop to keep a hold of it. So had to go over and back. Lady General is going to inbound the ball down 16 to 9 here. Just over six minutes to go in the second quarter. I like that pressure, that half court pressure. Abby just reaches in. Abby going to pick up a quick move foul those feet there. Just yeah. a little bit faster. She knew it was coming. Just maybe get down, move the feet a little bit faster. And the nice thing about the Lady Senators, they're going to have quite a bit of depth with those JV players able to play. Yeah, we've substituted two in already. Uh, off the bench, and I, if you think, I think we go back to last year. I, mean, I don't even know if we had a substitute. Yeah, so, there were I mean, there this, were lots of games that we didn't sub anybody. Right. So this year, uh, having a full bench, we have. I think there's a full bench of girls down there that could come in at any point in time for the Senators and make some make some noise and do some do some damage in here. You know, and I think I think we're going to rely heavily on you know our starters, but any of those girls off the bench can put up you know 10 points in a game and really help the, this lady Senator team out. Good drive Lily, by Lily Thompson, Thompson with the drive gives her four. Abby Young gets a hand on it. Oh. I think they may get Schmidt on the back side of that one. Well, they're going to get Abby Young again. That's two on Abby. <laughs> That's going to yeah. give two on Abby. That's going to be the fouls. The home team, our team with six, and the guests with two. I mean, that comes from that press. I mean, it's. They're going to be after, you know, they're going to pick up the, the defensive intensity there. So, And, you know, like I say, with the deep bench, like you stated earlier, we can we can afford to foul some. Yeah. Gaines with a nice drive, not going to get past Meredith. I believe she might have traveled. Good rebound by Schmidt, the smallest person on the court with the rebound. I love Just it. Just in the right place at the right time. Lily can gather herself and get that one up there. She misses it, but she still gathered herself. Got a good jump stop. 
Meredith then gets tied up underneath. Going to have a jump ball, going to come back to the Generals. In comes Jayla Bat for Abby Young. We bring someone in off the bench like Jayla, and we don't lose any length at all. I mean, Abby comes out, and we've still got, you know, the same length out there. Yeah, I think Jayla growed like eight inches last year. So, <laughs> I, uh, I remember Jayla from sixth grade, Yeah. and, you know, this is a, a completely different Jayla. <laughs> yeah. She came up to me this morning and gave me a hug. I said, I hope you have a good game, and I kind of – I didn't want to look up at her, but I didn't really look down at her either, so it was kind of awkward. But. You look her straight in the eyes. Yeah, That's yeah. And that's one of those things, you know, Jayla grew up as a guard. So right. just like we're seeing right now, you know, she's one of the taller girls on the floor but can still handle the ball. I'm just impressed with the ball movement, Craig. I think, I think this ball movement, we're cutting in between, we're going in, we're looking. And we're finding the open person. That's right. I mean, it's, you know, we, we make three or four passes and we find the open person, and that's exactly what the girls' game is all about. The open person makes the shot. The boys' game, boys create shots. You know, they're able right. to, it's, you know, a little faster pace. But the, the girls, if you get it to the open person, you know, nine out of ten times, if they can knock that down because they're going to be close to the bucket. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with the way this, I, you know, like say it's the second quarter, but. Just, just from what we've had and experienced, nothing to take away from the girls' experience, but we've been, we've come out and showed way more aggression than we've had in a long time. Gaines again with the shot. This is no good. Schmidt, Schmidt on the on floor. The floor. <laughs> She's a feisty little girl. Yeah. Gets her hands on it and then goes flat to her back because Gaines rolls up her leg. So yeah, Gaines been pretty quiet in the second quarter. Yeah, I'm sure coaches has has something to say about her. You know, going off for uh, seven points in the first quarter. I'm sure she wasn't real happy about that. Nice stop and go from Lily. Unable to knock it down. We're going to have it on the floor. Going to be another jump ball. Nineteen to nine, four minutes to go here in the first half of play. General's doing a nice job of breaking that press. Then we get a two-point bucket. Meredith didn't look. She had to throw it. Can't throw it the game whenever Gaines is in the way. I'll try another three-pointer. That one's short. Meredith with the rebound coming back the other way. Meredith might break the school rebounding record tonight. <laughs> with this group of freshmen coming in, there's a lot of those records that could be broke. I would say you're right. You know, we got, we've got a lot of girls who can score, you know, a lot of points. So we've only had 2,000 point scorers in school history. Misty Jones, one of them, and Ryan Russell, the other one, sitting down on the bench down there. Um, you know, there's there's quite a few of these girls that could get to that, um, you know, milestone rebounds. It's going to be another one that we could see come down. Another rebound by Meredith. This ball back to Lily and Emma Schmidt's got it right in the middle. Nice move, Jayla. Up, that one no good. Generals with the rebound. Oh, that's going to be a travel. <laughs> Once again, she got caught kind of in no man's land, passed right to her, and she's half step and then nowhere really to go. Ava Woods back onto the floor for Riley Hall. Generals will be substituting 23 Sky Howie and number three uh, Courtney Austin. Senators inbound the ball to Lily Thompson, and they go, they're looking right at Ava Woods. <laughs> Ava's got to take that shot. She yeah. hesitated. She's seen two people open, crash in the basket. That's 
that's good eyes, but, you know, like I say, you got to take well, if you're open. Let's and she it. got up off the ground ready to shoot it and right. then saw him. So that's one of those. She's got to decide either she's going to shoot yeah. it or pass it. You can't do both. Right. Nice job by the Generals breaking the press there. She's going to pick another one up. Got to keep those feet still. Yeah. All she had to do was keep her feet still and hands up. That's two on Ava. We'll see what Coach Messmore is going to do here. Yeah. I believe she's going to go back and pick Riley off the bench. Yeah, send her in. Courtney Austin with the free throw. That one up and good. Brings the score 19 to 12. Lady Senators out ahead. We got to get through this, these next three minutes with Ava on the bench uh, and hopefully extend this lead a little more. Austin drains the second free throw. That ball goes right off the face of Courtney Austin. Lily Thompson trying to smack it in, and it just happens that her face is right there. <laughs> yeah, she's tough. I, did, I know Lily. She's, she, did, she had some heat on that ball trying to get it to Jayla. Yeah. So, you know, her face is red, or I think her nose might be bleeding just a little bit. So, she says she's okay. I yeah. don't know if she's seeing stars or not, but <laughs> she's waving it off. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, Lily got all of that ball, and it went about six inches and yeah. then hit her right in the eye. So. Meredith deep and open. It's a good shot. Oh, no good. Generals with the rebound. Gaines with the move. Nice spin. Crossover. That was nice. Jayla on the rebound, pushing it up the court. Into Riley. Maybe, maybe, maybe just rush that one a little bit. Well, and it may be a couple more dribbles than what Riley really needs to take. If she can get down in the post and then feed her there so she makes one power dribble and then goes up with it instead of having to take two or three bounces. Meredith's aggressive defense. Lily back on the Greek defense on the other side. Now they got her trap. It's a jump ball. Good job. Well, that's something else about the centers. They're able to switch just about every position. I mean, it doesn't matter who has the ball; they can they can switch it, and it's still not a mismatch. You know, for the most part, we're we're an evenly sized team. Yeah. Senators moving the ball around the top into Hall, feeds it over to Jayla Bat. Up, oh, she's going to go to the line for two. She knocked down one of two her last time there. You got a hoop in a barn somewhere? Yeah, uh, <laughs> we may have we may have a hoop in the middle of the pig barn. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, we got fortunate enough to have concrete floor in our pig barn, and we got pig pins on one side, and we got a basketball goal in the middle. There you so. go. So all your kids should be able to knock down free throws. They, you know, I, I told them the other day, I said. We, we're actually going to the North American right now showing pigs. And I said, when them pigs get out of there, that basketball court is going to get dusted <laughs> off and you're going to shoot free throws. <laughs> Quick hands by Lily. Yeah. They're going to get Meredith for a foul. Those of you that don't know, Ryan has uh, three kids on three different levels. He's got a, a varsity girl, he's got a varsity boy, and then he's got a sixth grade girl. Uh, you know, so a lot of basketball in, in Ryan's future. He's going to be spending a lot of time in this gym sitting watching basketball. Yeah, I, uh, I told him I said I need, I need a, not a season pass, but I need like a lifetime pass. There you go. There you go. It's up and no good, and it kind of crashed in the middle. Senator's going to take this one out. Going to go four across. Comes into jail bat. Lily with the floater. That's good. Nice from Lily. That gives her six. Nobody's got gains. We got to pick gains up. Well, Meredith checked out, and Meredith was the one who had gains. 
gives her nine. That's one I'd like to see Lily Thompson pick up gains and see see how that goes. Yeah, I think that would be an ultimate match right there. <laughs> Really another floater, that one's short. Gonna be a jump ball. 31 seconds left to go here, 23-15. Lady Senators out ahead. <laughs> 31 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Lady Generals down eight. Shelby Griffiths with the steal. Loses it back on Gaines. And Emma comes up, picks her pocket. Jayla's got it. She's going to bring it down the court. Set something up with Emma. We got 11 seconds. Let's see if we can get a score. I'm thinking Lily's going to pull up from half court. <laughs> Lady Senators trying to run offense, and that there's not enough time for that. Lily puts up one after the buzzer, so. Lady Senators do lead 23 to 15 here going into halftime. We're going to step aside, have uh, the Commissioner's Corner, and hear some commercials, and we'll be back with second, second half action here in just a moment. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812849 2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, 
Here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Knighting. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell. This is the weekly conversation with the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. And Paul, thank you so much for joining us. And it's a busy time. We know that. It's cliched. But here's how busy you are, just so people can get an understanding. Cross-country championship will be in Terre Haute. 416 runners at the Laverne Gibson course, one of the best around. Friday and Saturday, boys and girls soccer championships at IUPUI. We have the uh, semifinal round of uh, football. Basketball practice has started for girls. Wrestling practice has started for girls and boys. Uh, Did I leave anything out in that uh, short schedule? Well, I think you got that down, Coach. But then the rest of them, boys basketball and everybody else, is in the weight room getting better, ready to go, too. So, I mean, it's just a full full slate across the board of of students uh, getting ready to go. So, yeah. And I think you got it all. I think the cool thing, just to you know, use cross country as an example. Uh, I know you're all proud and, and and understandably so that when you play for a championship in an IHSA sport in the state of Indiana, you are competing on some of the greatest facilities uh, known in the high school world. You're, you're competing in big time facilities like the Laverne Gibson Course in Terre Haute. That is one of the best around, without question. Well. Dave Patterson and, and the Convention and Visitors Bureau at Terre Haute have built something special there. Um, it is a nationally renowned course. It is home of the NCAA championships. Uh, and in addition, I mean, we're fortunate to be able to to show off our runners at that great facility. And uh, it, it's really cool from the standpoint that you can kind of stand in one spot there and you can watch the entire 5K race happen in front of you and you don't uh, there are some out there still chasing the runners around the course but uh, for people <laughs> of, of my age and physical conditioning I just as soon stand in one spot and watch those great runners run <laughs> so but yeah I, 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 yeah I agree with you 100 percent obviously I have a little bit of experience with Carroll Stadium on the campus of IEPY uh, was there when it was built uh, Mike Carroll, the, the longtime friend of mine, and I know how incredibly important it is for kids to be able to get to Indianapolis to wrap up their soccer careers. It is. You know, we're going to kick off Friday night. And, you know, that's one of the things. We hate to have conflicts in what we do, but we do. Every game that we have this weekend also has a team playing in football. So, you know, avoiding those conflicts were just unavoidable. But we did the best we could. But, yeah, I mean, they're, the premier soccer facility in the state of Indiana has become – Carroll Stadium, you know, the professional league here in Indy plays there, but uh, we're going to celebrate state championships there also, and it's high-level soccer. Uh, That uh, 3A girls match coach at 4 p.m. on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, is is notably probably the, one of two of the best programs in the entire country in girls soccer, and they're going to be playing uh, in a state championship event uh, at Carroll Stadium at, on Saturday. So high-level soccer, high, incredible facilities. And, you know, again, we're just blessed in Indiana to have great partners. Paul Neidig with us talking about IHSAA championships. We are in the semifinal round of the football championship. Seems like everything went great in that first round last week, Paul. It did, Coach. Weather was phenomenal, and it looks like we're going to have pretty good weather this week. Um, you know, and it was. I mean, teams advanced to the next week, and, you know, this week's also exciting because we bring all the 5 and 6A schools back into play. They've had a week off for the most part, and the chance to, to heal up and, and plan and get their game plans together, and so now we're going to have teams playing in all six football classes all across the state, and, uh, you know, uh, and it, the competition, as you know, as we work through this tournament, continues to get better. Uh, we'll have some upsets Friday night, uh, and then we're going to have some games go as predicted. But the thing that I'm just really excited about is it's really high quality. And, and the other thing is we're so blessed to have great football officials that spend their time in support of student-athletes so parents can watch their kids play. And, Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Back to action here on the West Washington School Complex. Uh, first half of play, the, the Lady Senators come out, 23 points uh, to 15 for the Lady Generals. The um, Lady Senators were led in scoring uh, with actually two players tied. Lily Thompson had six along with Ava Woods, who also had six. Um, Emma Schmidt had four, Jayla Bat with three, and Meredith Deaton with four. So that totals the uh, Senators scoring. Clarksville kind of a, a one-lady show. Nice Meredith look. Deaton with two underneath. Uh, kind of a, a one-lady show. Gaines has nine of their points, and then there are three other Lady Generals with two points apiece. So... Mary takes that one away, heading back the other way. Finds uh, Shelby Griffiths underneath to knock that one in for two. Getting a great start this second half. We talked the first half, the Lady Senators, they just come out and they're, they're big and they're strong and they're dominant. Gaines trying to make something happen, gets into the lane. Nowhere to go with Meredith right there. Good block and by Meredith. Meredith going to swat that one away. Looks up and sees Lily. Lily just can't grab a hold of it. Just over the top. I like the tempo. I yeah. like the tempo. If, we're if we're, we're that, going strong. That's the speed that the that this lady senator team wants to play at. They want to play fast. They want to get up and down the floor. We can stand some turnovers to get that ball up and down that court. Yeah. Lady Senators out 27-15 here. We talked at first half there, Craig, about the size advantage that we got and the equal uh, height and strength and long long arm spread of these girls that we got and how they can just switch. We don't have to just guard one certain person. Yeah. Any, anybody can guard anybody. Woods with a nice power dribble, but then bounces it off a of foot. So it's going to be a turnover. Gaines comes down. Gaines. Griffith's going to just take it away from her. Heading back the other way. Look at Shelby drive all the way in. A little floater by Lily. That one up and no good. Lady General is able to clear that when it goes over the top to Gaines. Shelby takes one swat at it, tries to swat it away. Lady General's not exactly sure what offense they're going to run here. Right off her foot to Riley Hall. A good decision by Riley to hold up there and get it to one of the, the many ball handlers on the Senator team. Lily Thompson for three. Lily was about sitting on the bench when she shot that. Yeah. Going to be over the back on the Lady Generals. They're going to get gains for, for that one. I believe that's her second, first of this half. Woods goes down the lane, up and good for two. This is where the Lady Senators are so dangerous. They're, they're on a run right now. And as I say that, Deja Gaines puts in a two to end that run. <laughs> Gaines, is, Gaines is a one-man show. Yeah. For the Generals. That one put up by Riley Hall. I think that could have been called a travel, a, a foul. A, <laughs> that was a, a three of seconds. A, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that could have been called there. We'll take the foul. So Riley Hall goes to the line. A couple of dribbles. Let's that one fly. No good. Lady Senators out 29-17. Just under five minutes to go in this third quarter. Second one up and no good. Long Woods, rebound. Woods gets her hand on it, but unable to secure it. 
Thompson takes that one away. Unable to hit the free throw. Deja Gaines back the other way. Meredith Deaton there to pick her up. Maybe taking care of the goal. She's underneath the goal. She's got her arms out at Riley Hall on help side. Meredith Deaton going to pick up the foul. Gaines going to go to the line for two. I think we're going to get your uh, matchup. Miss Messamore just called out the switch <laughs> right here. We're yeah. going to get uh, Lily and, and Gaines one-on-one. -on -one. Gaines unable to knock that first one down. Gaines the senior, just a little more uh, varsity action experience. You know, nothing against Meredith. You know, great, great job by her. Um, but just a little more varsity action. Knows the pace, knows where to be. Um, Lily picks that one up all the way out at half court. Shelby Griffiths with the drive. Woods underneath. Gets bodied up. And Hall gets the rebound, gets it to Griffiths, who tries to put it up, and she gets fouled. She's going to go to the line. You know, he's talking about Gaines being a senior. they got six seniors on their team. Yeah. Senators got zero. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, the future for this lady Senators team is, is you know, bright. There's, there's lots of good things going on with this, this lady Senator group. Shelby unable to knock down that first free throw. Second one up. That one no good. Just off. We're going to get Shelby in the pig barn. I was going to say, Shelby's going to have to come to your house and shoot some free throws. Gaines brings it up over half court. Lily Thompson there. Gaines back door cut. Unable to get it. Going to be tipped. Go out of bounds. Lady General's going to have it. This inbounds is going to go to Gaines. Everybody in this gym knows it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty well called for right there. Good job, Lily. Lily gets a hand oh, on off, it. That one's going to go out of bounds. the referee. <laughs> Number three, Courtney Austin got a hand on it, but unable to secure it. Then it goes off the official. So Lady Senator is going to get possession. Comes across to Riley Hall. To Griffiths. They backed off Ava, and Ava got back in it. That's that's the motion that we want, you know, from our bigs. Ava and uh, Riley both, we want one power dribble and go up with it. Right. Make your move, get up. Makes. Oh, Ava going to pick up a third on a block there. Going to be an offensive foul on her, setting a screen there and then rolling. Ava maybe using a little bit of Tim Woods action there <laughs> on the football team from the 90s. General's moving around. Don't see much inside action with the, with the Generals. No. Abby Young comes in for Ava Woods. Those three fouls, she's going to probably spend the rest of this third period on the bench. You also got to be careful with Abby. Abby's got two fouls, too. So. Yeah. I heard some little bit of trouble. Find Shelby in the middle. Lily Thompson up for another two. Lily's got that floater, and, it's, yeah. and she's had it since she was two. <laughs> and that, that thing is, it looks like it's never going to go in, and it always goes in. We got hit with a screen really hard by number 21. It looks like it leaves you. The official was glad that Courtney Austin caught that one because that was going right for his face. General's moving the ball around the top. Still unable to get it in. Courtney Austin for three. That one no good. Gaines with the rebound. That no good. Gaines with another rebound. And then we're going to get a jump ball. To stay with the Lady Generals. You know, even on both teams, it's we've had they've both had really good passing. Yeah. I don't I don't know if there's been any any or very few turnovers on passing with either one of the teams tonight. 
a lot of times you'll see some sloppy play, some, you know, things like that, and you just haven't seen it yet in this game. Lily Thompson gets her hand on that one. Shelby Griffiths gets on it. Now Deja Gaines is on it. Everybody on the floor. Abby Young comes in for the tackle. <laughs> Senator's going to get possession of this ball. I'm not exactly sure who it went I, out I don't on, know but who had the ball. That I just seen a bunch of people on the floor. Lily Thompson drives. Left hand, no good. Meredith Deaton up with the body and one. Nice bucket there by Meredith. And that's where the Senators are coming into it, and they're playing together. I mean, for for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, yeah. you know, they're, they're playing together, and somebody's always on that offside rebound. And that's, you know, as, as a coach for the little girls team on Winter League, you know, you always tell them, go to the opposite side, yeah. and that's and that's where we're at, because that's where you're going to get the other, you know, the most rebounds. Right. That's something that another one of your family members did really well. Hattie Griffiths was always on right. the opposite side. The littlest person on the court. <laughs> Meredith with the push. Comes over to Lily Thompson. Into Abby. Back over to Meredith. Meredith for three. A little hard. Just a, a touch hard on that one. I'll go with you on that. <laughs> Nice roll by Abby Young, up and good for Young. two. I would say that's a perfect out of bounds play. <laughs> yep. If you let Abby get her body in front of you and seal you off, you're in for a night of terror. Shelby Griffiths out with pressure. On the floor, got a three on one. Three on one. Let's see what happens. Oh, Meredith. Kind of went, she almost lost her footing. Riley Hall with the hustle. I yeah. like it. It's nice when your big runs the floor, you know, is able to get down there, get her hand on a ball. Lily's not going to fall for that screen anymore. <laughs> It's going to be a travel. That's that's one of those plays that there has to be a call. Either it's a travel, it's a, an offensive foul or defensive foul. There's something that went on there. And the whole gym is looking at the ref. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to step aside, take a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment with more third quarter action. You're at American Family Insurance, located in Bedford, Indiana. We help our customers all over the state of Indiana by having customizable insurance policies to fit their needs. Whether it is insurance for your car, home, or business, we've got you covered. With licenses in Ohio and Florida as well, we can insure your vacation or rental home. You can also sign up for our discount driving program called Know Your Drive and save up to 10% with the potential to save up to 20% off auto insurance premiums. And let's not forget about your life as life insurance is the most important policy we offer. Contact Michael Long at mlong at amfam.com or call 812-578-3072. Again, that's 812-578-3072. Michael Long Agency with American Family Insurance. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Back to action here where the Lady Senators do lead 35 to 18 over the Lady Generals. Here in the third period of play, Lady Senators come out with their starters, minus Ava Woods, who is in foul trouble with three. They replace her with Abby Young. Lady General's going to apply a little bit of pressure here, see what the Lady Senators can do. Just a little bit high for Abby. Yeah. That's, that's the same thing that I talked about earlier. Not really where you want to get Abby the ball. You don't want her handling the ball on that wing. You want her down in the post, one power dribble, and go up with it. Lily Thompson for three. She's now in double digits with 11. Up 
that was always the uh, the success with the lady senators there under Darren Russell. He always had three or four people in double digits. And that's what you got to have to be a number one basketball player, basketball team, is to have multiple people scoring. Yeah, yeah, and. And the Lady Senators can do that. They've got a lot of scorers out on the floor. I mean, Meredith can score, Lily can score, Riley can score, Shelby can score. I mean, it, it, all of them, yeah. all of them out there. You never know who's going to give you the the ten point night. I like this matchup of Abby Young and Shirley from the Lady Generals. I like that that matchup. That is those, a good matchup. Those are girls who are going at it down in the paint. I think they're talking a little trash to each <laughs> other and having a big time. Throws it right to Meredith. 11 seconds left and does a right-handed layup on the left-handed <laughs> side. We're going to have to have a talk about that. <laughs> She's going to spend some time in the... Where is Matthew Deaton at tonight? He's in the stands. <laughs> Riley Hall with the baseball pass and doesn't quite make it. So that's the end of the third period of play. Lady Senators do stretch their lead out here. Uh, 40 to 18. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to live action here uh, on Ron Smith Court, where the Lady Senators do lead 40 to 18. Ryan, we were just talking that third period. The Lady Senators outscore the Lady Generals. Uh, what was that? Something to three. <laughs> yeah, we outscored them. They, that, that's a lot now. I mean, that's, yeah. that's pushing the ball, moving the ball, being aggressive. 18 points there, and, and that's that's what we got to have. We were all we were also talking during the break. We've got seven girls who have scored tonight, and Riley Hall is not one of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's been on the court. Uh, you know, a lot of time. Probably 90% of the yeah, game. Yeah, and hasn't scored yet. She's done a great job on the defensive side, done a great job, you know, being in the uh, in the passing lane. Um, and as we say that, she gets a, a break here. She's now on the bench. Um, you know, but if we can get eight girls scoring every night, that's that's going to be a hard team to beat. You're right. Taylor's got to get that ball and get it up the court. Never drive to the corner. <laughs> My kid, I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of kids who whose dads are saying that. Yep. <clears throat> Courtney Austin checks back in the game. You know, Courtney Austin, she's she's probably smaller than – and I say besides Laney Cameron on the bench, she's probably the smallest person on the court total. Yeah. yeah. And, and probably the second leading scorer for the Jimmys. Right, exactly. Lily Thompson picks up Gaines. She gets a screen set on her. It goes to the corner for Courtney Austin. That one up. No good. Gaines with the rebound. Left-handed. Up and gets that one to go. Over the top to Meredith. Meredith with a nice move. Trying to get to the bucket. Going to go to the line for two. Twenty-one, going to pick up her second foul. Meredith Deaton goes to the line, one dribble and puts that one up. Well, Jayla may spend some time in the in the pig barn shooting free throws, but it seems like a lot of the Senators are struggling tonight from the yeah, line. I believe we need to shoot some free throws. Second one up and good for Meredith. We'll just call it the first game jitters. There we and, go. You know, we'll just kind of move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-one to twenty on the scoreboard. Senators ahead. Nice move underneath that one for two. No good. Gaines with the rebound. Gaines that one up again. and good for two for her. 
sure Coach Messamore is <laughs> seeing what's happening here, and we're going to have to get a body on game somewhere. Yeah. Abby nice Young. move there. Abby Young for two. Good assist by Meredith. Way to see here wide open. Oh, that's that's, a cheap foul. that's not one you got to reach for there. Let him get it and body up. And that's a, a, a freshman mistake. That's right. one that she knows. You know, at the eighth grade level, you're able to get away with that. You're able to get your hand on it and get away with it. At the varsity level, you're not going to. The, the girls are just bigger. The Their bodies are bigger. You're not going to be able to, to right. reach around and get that. Into Abby Young. She gets tied up. I don't think Abby was expecting that ball. No. Abby trying to throw it back to Jayla, missed it. That's a nice out of bounds play, but you got to let Jayla get set to get a hold of it. Jayla does a nice job of the screen and rolling there, but doesn't get her feet set yet, and then the ball comes to her. So, Senator's moving around. Lily. What a ball movement. Good job. Lily to Meredith Deaton. That's going to be the key to our season, Craig. I think that ball movement and the speed. Yeah. That, that's where it's at. I mean, we're game one. We're 20 points ahead, and, and it's because we do the ball movement. We did the extra things. Bat underneath with a nice rebound. Comes over the top. Back to Meredith. Lily with the drive. There's that swing again. <laughs> She's so dangerous. If she could give one jab step to that baseline, Everybody's going to go, and then if she can come back to the middle, it's going to be wide open. And that's hard for a defense to read Lily Thompson. Oh, yeah. Lily's one of those kids that if she can keep her ankles underneath over this season. Yeah. She's going to be a threat because you never know which way she's going to go. Yep. Ava Woods comes back in for Abby Young. We're going to do this here, pick and seal. Right there it is, wide open. <laughs> I was going to say, she's got to get fouled there. Yeah. There's, there's no way Ava Woods misses that one from there if she doesn't get hit by something. Gaines picks up her third. Ava Woods goes to the line looking for her ninth point of the night. Gets that one. Free throws were a struggle for her last year, and tonight she's three of three. So... Um, That's good. Anytime your big can be 100% free throw shooter. 4-4. Four, four. Puts her in double digits tonight. So we now have three Senators in double digits. Still 5-19 to go here in the fourth. Gaines drives in. Somebody's <laughs> got to pick her up. <laughs> Meredith got beat. And uh, Schmidt tried to step in, uh, but didn't step in at an angle at all, kind of put her head down. <laughs> Gaines ran into her and is going to go to the line. That one no good. Gaines might need to work on her free throw abilities too. Gaines has 16 on the night. And Shelby Griff is checking back in for Lily Thompson. That one no good. Ava Woods with the rebound. Meredith showing off some great ball handling skills for a tall person to come in here and really lose it, or Ava lose the ball. We still got the ball movement, Craig. Yeah, that's, it's that's still it's still moving. Inside, that's where we need to be at. Like Lily or uh, Ava, I keep calling her Lily. Ava <laughs> lost her footing there. Kinda, yeah, kind of tripped over her own foot there. And Ava's kind of surprised that that one's not their ball. <laughs> she thought she got fouled or it had to go off of somebody. Cut that baseline off. That's going to be a travel. Use that baseline as another defender. Put your foot on it. Make them go out of bounds or run into you. Ball inbounded to I'm Shelby. Surprised goes. the generals are still trying to press us. Yeah. Maybe they need some conditioning. Well, we took Lily out. Jalen needs to look for that shot. 
Good shot Goes around to Meredith. Got it. That one good. I like this group of lady senators. There's a lot of speed on the floor, and we still have a big out there in Ava Woods. Ah. Meredith Eaton tied up underneath. Just over four minutes to go here. Beaten with a nice block. Shelby and Jayla playing pity patty patty whack over there <laughs> with the basketball. <laughs> I don't know which one. One dribbled one, one dribbled yeah. another. And hey, as long as each one of them dribble yeah. it, then, yeah, then it's time to travel. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time we haven't seen gains on the floor. Shelby goes down. Somebody's got to block out. We talk about all the length that the Senators have, and then <laughs> right. they they don't use it to get a rebound there to block out. So Ava Woods. Good shot. Good bucket for her. General still with that press on, which doesn't seem to be working for them. They're trying to speed the Senators up, but... I don't know that you want to speed the Senators up. You may want to slow them down. <laughs> Jayla got it, turned it over to Shelby. Shelby turned it over back to Jayla. Jayla with a nice strip there coming back the other way. I don't know why she's slowing down. I would run with that thing. <laughs> I think huh. Emma may have traveled. <laughs> yep. In comes Riley Hall for Meredith Thieton. Great job there by Meredith. 51-24. Score here. 246 to go in the fourth. Lady Senators with this one in control. It's gonna be a travel. <laughs> Great fan participation. We've talked about that during the break while ago. The, the yeah. gym is, is not by no means full, but no. but an uh, excellent crowd and for and a, for a Thursday night girls game early in the season. You know. That's right. I think with this team here, we're going to have some. We're going to have some fans. Ava Woods with a nice shot there that ends up being a pass to. I think that was Jayla that Jayla. ended up getting it. Oh. Schmidt with a rebound underneath. Definitely not a selfish senator team. No. <clears throat> Passing the ball, we look like circus animals. <laughs> Riley Hall tries to throw it off the legs. She thought she got it. Evo Tool checks in. Ava Woods comes out. Even though Woods battled foul trouble, she ended up with 12 points tonight. Good nice steal. steal by Schmidt. Take it all the way. You know, Craig, that's what we're talking about all night tonight is Emma d drives in, gets stopped, loses the ball, still goes after it, and, and th that's the aggression. Yeah. You, know, you know, we could easily right now say, yeah, we won the game. There's a minute 40 to go. You know, we're up, you know, 30 points, and we're still fighting. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the aggression as far as we're bringing people in off the bench. We're substituting people in. You know, just because we substitute somebody in, we don't lose anything. No, no, that's that's what we talked about early in the game. You know, when, when people sub in, we don't really lose anything. We may lose a little bit of varsity experience, but nice job by Schmidt there to knock that one in. Gives her five on the night, even though there's some action down low. Yeah. Looked like 23 was ready to box out Jayla before <laughs> even left Schmidt's hand. 
That one no good. Riley Hall right there to get it, but it Almost goes over bad. her head. We're going to get Riley in the scoring. I have a feeling. Yeah, they're going to look for Riley to, to get a bucket here. Anticipating the pass there. We're not giving up on that defense. No. And that's something you see a lot with a with a team that wants to move the ball and wants to play at a fast pace. A lot of times they, they lack defense. Well, this team tonight hasn't lacked defense at all. Jayla with the rebound out to Schmidt. Minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Jayla with the shot. That one's short. Oh. <laughs> O'Toole could have got in the scoring column We almost column got there. another one in there. I get we go we go out of bounds here. Yep. We go out of bounds. Oh, and Riley's taking it out. I can see Riley coming down the lane with a seal. There's Eva. Oh, uh, no good for Eva. That one comes all the way across. Lady General's able to get it under control and bring it up. 45 seconds left to go. Shelby gets a hand on it. And <laughs> Finally, <laughs> got, an over the back. Got to be an over the back. <laughs> if Schmidt's there, it's got to be an over the back. She's the smallest player on the court, probably by four inches yeah, at least. At least. <laughs> so she's going to come down, shoot some free throws because we're in the bonus. 35.2 left to go. Lady Senators up 52-24. You know, and it's a pretty clean game. We've, you know, we, they've had some fouls and we've had some fouls, but there's, it's been a pretty clean yeah. game, you know, for the most part. That'll be off. Jayla almost had to rebound. Great officiate, officiating tonight, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it's the girls' first game, but it's also the officials' first game. Right. So they may have done a scrimmage, but, you know, there's nothing nothing like being in the action and actually being part of the game. You know, it's a whole different right. whole different feeling, getting back in the rhythm. Coach Messamore telling him to take some time, burn some clock, maybe work the offense around, only shoot a layup. Riley, Riley Hall with a turnover. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. And another senator. <laughs> Evo O'Toole. Evo O'Toole with a two-point bucket there. Lady Senators end up winning this one 54-24, uh, beating the Generals by 30 in the home opener here uh, for the season. Like I said, Early, um, the, the Lady Senators should have played on Saturday, but with Linton being in the uh, state finals for volleyball, that game has been pushed back to later in the winter. So the next game will be Thursday um, of the upcoming week. We'll bring you that one here live from T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium. Uh, Ryan, final thoughts? Hey, you know, Craig, I, I tell you what, I was, I was excited when we come in here tonight and watching the girls in warm-up. I got here just right as it started. But, you know, th this group of girls is good. And, and, you know, it's something that nothing to take away from the Senators that we've had in the past. But I'm pretty sure that wall over there is going to get covered with some more <laughs> sectional, regional, and possibly state uh, pictures because the length, the body, and like I say, when they come off the bench, we don't lose anything. Yeah. So what a great season, good coaching. Everything went as could be possibly great for us. Uh, uh, just just a great night here yeah. at uh, you know the ball game tonight. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and sign off, and we will see you guys next Thursday for the next Lady Senators basketball game. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back on Thursday.